Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna repot my philodendron, let's agree to just call it philodendron pasta today. Um, and I thought I'd take you along. So it's no secret, I love a good moss pole, but I started growing a few crawling aeroids as well. So what's the difference between a climbing and a crawling aeroid? A climbing aeroid, appreciates a moss pole. So these are plants that in nature, they would climb up a tree, we call them epiphytes or semi-epiphytes. Whereas a crawling philodendron is a terrestrial plant. So these plants grow on the jungle floor in nature, they will not crawl up a tree, meaning I don't need to give it a moss pole. Instead, I would like to give it a pot that gives it enough room to actually just crawl along the surface of the uh, potting medium. So I found these nice, I mean, more or less nice looking rectangular pots. Um, they're usually used for uh, balconies. Um, so you can go to pretty much any garden center and find a, a, a rectangular pot for a balcony normally. Um, they're usually just a little bit ugly. So this is the prettiest one I was able to find and I just got it uh, from Amazon. Good thing about this one, it technically does have self-watering capabilities. I do not use it for it, but what I really appreciate is that I can pot it up in here and then slide it into that um, outer pot. Um, and basically I do not need to water about over watering because any excess water can just freely drain from here straight into um, the outer pot over here. So let's get started. First things first, I'm gonna take this out of its existing pot and I'll show you the root system a little bit more. Close. I've only potted it into this pot maybe a couple of months ago, so I'm definitely going to try and reuse any of the potting medium. It's still pretty good. Um, and I'm also trying to not disturb the roots too much. So I'm not actually going to take all of this apart. I'm confident that the medium is still pretty good. So if I show you this a little bit closer, you can see that with every node that's crawling, it will start sending out roots that will then go into the pots. Right now in here, I actually have two. So there's two shoots over here. I'll just pot them up next to each other and let them race along the surface of the pot. So just pop that in here for now. And I'll just pop that in the bottom to reuse it. Uh, Beautiful. Um, because I didn't completely strip all of the mix from the roots, I don't actually have to worry about much over here. I'm just really going to fill it up with a little bit more aeroid mix. Now, when it comes to aeroid mix for my crawlers, I actually like to make my mix um, a little bit more water and nutrient retentive um, because in nature, these plants would crawl on the forest floor, which is very rich in nutrients. It's um, usually wet, it's, it's, a, it's a rainforest, so it's usually wet in a rainforest. Um, so I, I do my normal aeroid mix that is really chunky with a lot of bark, pumice, perlite, um, cocoa chips, but I'll add a little bit more cocoa peat um, so that the cocoa peat can retain a little bit more moisture than my normal mix would. Beautiful. Right, I don't pack it too tight. Bang it on the table a couple of times just to make sure that I've got everything, but I don't want to pack the mix too tight. Aeration is everything. Right, I'll just All right, so I hope you can see that okay. But basically, I've got the two shoots, one here and one here. They've got plenty of room to now crawl along this pod um, and every single node will make contact with the substrate and can then grow roots into the pot in itself. That's really as easy as it is. So now we just gotta give it a watering. So when I first pot up my plants, I do add some fertilizer to my water. Um, it's called Growth Technology CCS and it basically is a, it's, it's a nutrient that encourages root growth. So I'll just mix five milliliters of it into my water and I'll just water the entire pot. 
Beautiful. So I'll just pop it in here. And as I said, this pot is perfect because any excess water can just drain freely into the outer pot without me actually having to worry about the plants sitting inside that uh, or the root system sitting in that excess water. Alrighty, just to show you that I wasn't lying, it's really that easy. Um, I thought I'd show you my philodendron Dean McDowell. Dean McDowell is a hybrid of the philodendron pastasinum or pastasinum. Let's call it pasta. Um, so it's a hybrid of the philodendron pasta and philodendron glorios, which is just right behind me over here. Both of those are crawlers, so not a surprise that the hybrid is also a crawler. So I potted that up maybe just a couple of months ago. You can see that it started to crawl along the pot and every single noid has started growing roots into the potting medium. Now, if I lift this up, you can see that there is a little bit of excess water that drained through and as a result of that the plant has gone absolutely nuts growing roots into the water below so geez am i accidentally doing hydroponics looks like it all right that's really as easy as it is i hope you enjoyed this video feel free to like and subscribe and uh, take care i'll see you next time bye